Hey guys, Joshua Smith here of the Tennessee Home Agent Group uh, on YouTube. Thanks for joining me. Uh, if you are new to the channel, we talk about all things real estate here. And uh, if you're here because you want to talk about and hear about the most walkable neighborhoods in Nashville, around Nashville, you've come to the right spot. Hit that like button, that little dinger bell, so that you can be notified whenever we do more videos like this one. And if you haven't subscribed, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe to me. Give me a chance. Watch a couple of videos, let me know what you think, comment below, all that good stuff. This is a video to cover the walkable neighborhoods in Nashville, in and around Nashville. Uh, the reason this came up is because I've got a home listed in Old Hickory. Now, Old Hickory has a walkable neighborhood in it. It's a good example of how Nashville operates. So basically, the, ho the house that I have listed, it's in a little part of Old Hickory called Rayon City. Rayon City is about a mile from where the Old Hickory Village is. The Old Hickory Village is a bunch of cute, quaint little Sears modern homes built everywhere from uh, starting back in the 1930s on up into the 60s and 70s. Some of the later homes, some of the more recent homes, not quite so Sears modern, but in the last couple of years, they have been developing a bunch of small homes and townhomes, condos, all kind of based around that same sort of feel, that old Sears modern look. So it feels like you're in Cape Cod in this little neighborhood. Nobody ever wants to leave. There's hardly ever listings in this neighborhood. It's a great place to buy and invest if you can. Uh, and it is walkable. Uh, but that being said, there's a lot of little parks and nooks and crannies and niches that you can go get into, but there's not as much shopping to do or uh, as much eating to do. All that said, what's another good walkable neighborhood in Nashville? Well, 12th South is obvious. 12th South, uh, the Gulch. Let's just go over the ones that everybody knows. The Gulch is, is, is great because there's nothing but shopping and lifestyle and dining and, and, and partying to do over there. It's, it's great if you're young and wild and hungry. You go over to 12th South, a ton of great shopping and boutiques and, and there's also, it's right there in between a couple of different schools. So if you're going to Belmont, if you're going to Vandy, if you're going to Lipscomb, it might be a great neighborhood for you. Uh, 21st, go, there's a Hillsborough Village that's right there on 21st. That's a great spot to go and be in if you're also, if you're young, hip, trendy and hungry, um, going to Vandy. Uh, those are those are all good places near parks near um, a lot of shopping a lot of dining a lot of things to do um, bar hopping you know all, all that kind of good stuff East Nashville is also one of the really well-known neighborhoods to be in uh, the thing about East Nashville is that it's really one specific zip code that's more walkable than others 37206 now that zip code is kind of hard to get into uh, if you're gonna offer in, in <laughs> in East Nashville, just expect to have to offer about fifty to one hundred and fifty thousand dollars over the asking price to be considered. I'm not going to say it's going to appraise for that much, so you're going to have to talk about appraisal gap coverage. And if you don't know what that is, I've got other videos on that topic. The thing about East Nashville is that if you're not close to five points, that's okay. In East Nashville, there's also um, uh, Riverside Village. Riverside Village has the Village Tavern. Dose is right there, the coffee shop. They've got a new, very close by on Riverside. There's like a fusion-y Korean place or something uh, that's really good. You know, there's a lot of good walkable pockets around East Nashville. Now, now, Riverside Village is actually, I think, technically in Inglewood. I believe it's in the 37216 zip code. I'd have to verify that. You can fact check me if you want. Let me know in the comments below. I like that neighborhood. I honestly probably like that neighborhood a little bit better uh, because it's a little bit less traffic. It's a little bit less people. And, you know, I just bought an acre out in Hendersonville, so I, I, you can tell what I like. Now, Hendersonville has some interesting little little neighborhoods uh, around Stewart's Ferry, Walton Ferry, where you can go and have a local bar, a local hang to go to go do stuff in. Um, if we're talking about other places in and around like Nashville proper, though, Germantown, classic, you know, near Fifth and Taylor. But here's the thing you'll notice about all of these neighborhoods, right? Even if you want to find a very walkable, like high walking score property, it's going to be really close to an intersection that has obviously a bunch of things to eat and do and play and see. That being said, if you are looking at the greater area in terms of where these walkable areas are, there's a lot of different pockets. There isn't just one 
point of interest. Uh, in East Nashville, there's not just Riverside Village. There's also where Pomodoro is in, in Portland Brew on where Porter Road and Eastland come together. And that whole bend right there has a lot of interesting things to do. It's also closer to Shelby Park than Five Points is. On 14th, if you go down to where, uh, towards Shelby Park, there's a little neighborhood back in there where Lipstick Lounge is. Uh, and that's all very walkable to Five Points, but there's also a little center right there where those houses are. And those houses are those beautiful, historic 20s, 30s homes that, that, that I love about East Nashville. And on the other side, if you go back uh, toward Dickerson Pike in East Nashville, Dickerson's only going to grow and develop and change, uh, just like Madison. Uh, but if you're over on that side, like on Meridian, um, there's a couple of really amazing chefs that have moved in right there. They put in, uh, I think it's Redheaded Strangers, a little taco place right there. There's a couple of other eateries coming in and there's gonna be a huge complex built uh, right there on the corner of Dickerson where it starts to get into crossing the bridges to cross the river. Uh, really big development that's happening where that entire block on that corner on the other side of the fence, all that's gonna get changed. The good news is there's, de there's communities developing that are coming soon. Uh, if you can't get in the exact neighborhood for walkability that you want to get into, you can go look around that neighborhood and probably find some interesting little pockets that also make sense for you. Nashville is really good about having green spaces and parks to go and be in. It's becoming more and more and it is very dog friendly. Uh, so if you have those animals you want to walk and that's the reason why you're looking for it, well, look for the little green spots on Google Maps and, and uh, I'm sure you can go let your dog poop there. Other than that, for walkability in Nashville, here's the, the cold heart fact. It's a driving town. And that's the irony of this video. I couldn't walk to my next appointment, so I'm driving there. Needed to do a video on this, so I'm doing one. So. If you're really adamant uh, about, you know, being green and saving energy, then buy an electric vehicle and, and, and go that route uh, because this isn't that town. Uh, but there are walkable neighborhoods and you can buy in and around them and have a great green walking existence. That's it. That's all I got for today. Hopefully you liked it. So like it, hit the dinger bell, subscribe, do the thing, and I hope to catch you soon. Thanks.